Alright, welcome back everyone. We're going to be playing Manifold Garden. I was originally planning on playing GTA actually, but uh, I've been meaning to play this game for a long time, but I never had this issue with the input, where it would constantly drag to one side. And um, I finally fixed it. It was some leftover VJoy input driver that was messing everything up. So in all the time since then, I've deleted my save game. Because I had some weird issues with that one as well. So we're going to start over. And uh, we're going to be playing this. Now, of course, I have played about the first 40 minutes already. So we'll see how much I actually remember. But um, this should be fun. I am still running the program in the background. Which is about 20% uh, done. Why are you running? Yep, why am I running? Um, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll give me the right answer, so I might take a... Let me actually pull it up here. We are at 20, 24% kids. Um, Once it's done, I'll take a super short break to grab probably some more tea. And um, input that. And then feel stupid about how much time I wasted. <clears throat> by not just running that, you know, uh, when I had the chance, you should go buy groceries. I will probably, it's a, I'll probably take a, on the, I'm going to go outside once I'm done with this for a bit. I need a, need some fresh air. And, uh, I'll do that between dinner and uh, our multiplayer. If you're still, uh, still up for that, Baz. More Factorio. But I don't have to make dinner. I already have some from yesterday. In fact, if you don't want to play it, then that's perfectly fine. We could also just do some warships. If you want. That's fine. All right. Yeah, I'm fine with anything, of course. I don't want to force you to do anything. Also, if I'm going to fast for anyone, just uh, tell me. I'm just doing this because I already did it before. <clears throat> Do, 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 25%. Oh boy. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, the the ships you get from those New Year's crate are really bad. They, uh, I mean, I think I've got nothing but garbage from that. Because of the way they do, um, <clears throat> it's because of the way they do the chances. That you're guaranteed to get some pretty bad stuff. With the short list scam effect of making the shipyard more expensive, I was kind of thinking about uninstalling. I agree, I can see why you would do that. Personally, I still enjoy the game. But I, you know, I am not exactly doubting anyone who would do that. For the people who don't know, the shortlist scam is... I like the gameplay too, but I also don't agree with... But it's like, it's something you kind of get used to with Ouija. Um... Which is not exactly a good excuse, but it is the way it is. Should I grab? Yeah, one of you. Um, yeah, so the shortlist scam is where um, you you could buy these crates. Oh, you can't jump, right? I forgot about that. You can't. Uh, you could buy these crates, and um, they would have this whole list. Of, oh, you can get uh, ninety different, uh, ninety different premium ships. And uh, it turned out that, no, you were actually extremely likely to get the Makarov because of the way they do a shortlist of like, oh, if you don't have this ship, you're almost guaranteed to get it. And uh, understandably, a lot of people were pissed off because, you know, you want to buy a ship and the game says, no, fuck you. But 
The fact that it's cooperative and I'm bad at these strikes right in my insecurity zone. Yeah, it's 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 super bad. It's like a few crappy tier six cruisers, I think. It's like they're really bad ship. They're not even like, oh, we want you to have these good ships. No, it's like we want you to have crap. So that you you will get at least one sh Yeah, exactly. It's 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 really awful. So many yeah, it's uh welcome to Ouija, god damn it. Yeah, and that's why a lot of people have been asking for refunds. And uh, I can very much understand why you do that. I think I need both of these first. She only got a single green one. No, so the thing is, they their excuse was like, oh yeah, we uh, we used to mention it. But we don't anymore. Uh, but Ship Azerlein is adding the Makarov. If it's a fucking Makarov, then it's, that's, a, that's a meme, all right. So I just need to do that. There we go. Ah, bollocks. Uh, there we go. The Nuenbeck. God. Ship, I became the Emerald Makarov after the war. <laughs> what a meme. I mean, that I didn't know. Immediately, yeah, of course, it's all Makarov everywhere. Are you still running? Just making sure. Yeah, I should just not focus on the... Not focus on the program. I hope someone got the Krasny Krim. I don't know. I think I got one or two ships from those crates, but they were all, it's all trash. Tier 6 stuff. I think I got the Nelson as well, which is like the Odes. That's the only alright ship, I think. That's Sorry, it's, it's an alright ship. Uh, I remember this one. But I'm really, I'm like kind of sick of that fucking three turret setup. With the goddamn uh, Izumo, and I'm finally done with it. Uh, with the fucking Izumo, yeah, I'm finally done because I got the Yamato, and I don't want to, don't want to have to deal with goddamn three front turrets uh, anymore. Yeah, I remember doing some really weird cheese here because you need to get a red one on there. Yeah, I used like blue here. Yeah. That'd be very incriminating if I put the likely shortlists. Oh, if I pull the like, yeah, of course. Uh, I remember that. I don't think I've watched the video a lot, but I remember something like that. Because uh, I don't watch everything Flammy did. I actually want to. I should watch his videos on the commander rework, which I know is going to be a huge shit show. There we go. Changes to create. He was a. He gets a shortlist. Yeah, because Ouija is a fucking scam. Uh. uh oh yeah, I knew what I'm doing wrong. Hey there, pizza. Yeah, it is. Uh, we may, I mentioned that before. It's like, oh, this is a, this is basically you know, uh, antechamber, but not antechamber. I am rushing a little bit quickly through these because I've already done this before. So, um, but I think we're roughly at the end of where I, like, I've been playing for like 30 minutes, of which like five minutes were introduction, and it took me like 40 to do this before. Surprised I remember most of it. So one thing I know is you can actually um, is you can actually complete this uh, this game 
without ever touching one of these cubes that I'm about to touch. So you can complete the game without ever grabbing one of these. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure how. You know what I would ditch today's MP for? KOTOR. You want me to play KOTOR? I can do that. And so you're never allowed to let it go. Do it. Sure. So... You can, as I said, you can complete this game without doing it, but uh, let's let's do that not now. You might have guessed this is a very non-Euclidean game. I feel terrible anyhow. Yeah, don't, don't, don't worry. Let's stream Kotor. It might be a little bit later since I'll probably take some extra time off after between dinner, go for a long walk, and maybe call with my girlfriend. I think I'll do that. By the way, after you know what's the worst part of today? The fact that I could have beaten you if um, if I uh, if I actually just started my processing of the processing of my solution uh, as soon as I had it ready. That hurts the most. What are you? Ah. Oh. What is this? Bit sad you can see the flickering there. Look, see, I can't click on this. Hmm. Hmm. I think these are actually the god cubes. Oh, I see. I can only move it here Hmm. A bit disappointed you can see the transitions that well here. But it is a very small place to. Yeah. Alright, let's go back. And actually progress like we're supposed to.
There we go. This is where we're supposed to place it. So you can get here without this god cube, or without placing it at least. I don't know how, but I know there's shortcuts. But since everything is non-Euclidean, it could be literally behind every single rock. I saw something there. A pirate trans Oh, you mean a Russian pirate translation. Huh. Well, I'll be playing on English, of course. I'm sorry. Hey, what? That's where we started. Hmm. What is up here? You know you want to play it in Russian. Well, I'm not so sure I would like to do that. Mostly since I don't speak Russian. Uh, sure. Oh, there's the yellow cubes, of course. You should, yes, polish up my, polish up my Russian. With, uh, with that. I kind of like that sound more than I probably should. So how about we go the other way? There we go. Non-Euclidean, my ass. It's very easy to comprehend. Where are we? What? Um. Okay, this is freaky. At Cannon's Tower. Hmm. Oh, it's just white. I thought it was a, a void for a second. God, I'm good. Where are we? See something there? I see something up here. Hmm. So I need to find some blue cubes. Bunk, bunk. Ooh, gears. Hmm, interesting. Do 
few intergrowing trees. Now, this the style of this game really reminds me of uh, the Witness at times. The, the Witness at times. Oh, are they both? That's neat. No, it, it reminds me of both, of course, but it also it also reminds me of. Now I just do. Ah, I think I have an idea. How can we keep it in place? Ah, with the red ones, of course. Hmm. Now, it reminds me of both, but it also, like, the puzzling sometimes reminds me of, uh, The Witness. Bonk. Feeling I'm going the wrong way. Hey there, Yoshiban. Mm, yeah, this. Oh, wait, no, you're different. There we go. We. Boom. God, after you're a nerd. Although it does sound kind of sound like something I would have done as well back then. Okay, how do I traverse through this proper? Also, it doesn't seem a while ago I had an antechamber view. Yeah, I know. Everyone says that because it it just does. I can't can't disagree with that at all. This is different. Ah, there we go. Why do I have yellow cubes here? Why do you go to nowhere? Hmm. Uh, actually, uh, in fact, IFT clerk asked me to time this for Jake. That was why I pinged him as well in Jake court, but uh, it seemed to be here. Oh, frick. Back at the start. Hmm. I think I may have messed up. Why did they just close? Oh, I see. 
just opened one of them. I need to go back to the orientation where they open. Crud. It's purple. There we go. Oh, sorry there, Franconian. I didn't uh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah, I know, I know what you mean with the game itself. I, by the way, I am completely messing this up. I am doing things I really shouldn't be doing right now. I don't even have a place to put this. But I guess I could just leave it here. Yeah, that's what I guess garnered as well. Is that maybe it? That one over there. Nah, it looks blue to me. Yeah, that's blue. Just gonna leave this here, and we'll go back. It's very neat, I like it. Maybe there's something yellow here? Yeah, you're blue as well. It's very non-Euclidean, so uh, I can understand if it makes you feel a bit wheezy. Yeah, I can't imagine how that might make someone with... Uh, <laughs> With, uh, what do you call that? Vertigo? A bit nauseous. I'm also going through it way faster than I really should. Mm, yeah, this was the right way. And there's the tree. Bonk. Hey, look, it's the yellow cube we need. Uh, we can get it though, it's not very difficult. You can get it back uh, by just... Oh. By just grabbing it from the tree again. Bit of a shame. I like the music, it fits very much with like a simple... I'd like to actually extend on the... yeah. I know what to do here. I think he did. They're lost? How could we have ever been lost if we were never found? Oh, stop sticking to my... Oh boy, yeah, I see what's going on here. Click. It's 
ball physics. Look, it's a round companion cube. What is it called again? An edgeless, uh, edgeless cube in Portal? Very smooth. I know the texture on the. It seems well optimized. It uses a recursive. Um, it uses a form of recursive uh, rendering for that. So what it does is it. Oh boy. It um. It uses some form of recursive rendering where it like it renders the oh it renders the the, the geometry once and then kind of repeats it, which is kind of the point as well. Maybe I should just leave it here and just wait until we find a place to put it. Oh, there it is. So yeah, the the rendering in and of itself isn't very complicated because the geometry is very simple but the fact that you want it to repeat infinitely makes it very difficult because then you have in theory infinite amount of polygons and vertices to draw which as you might imagine isn't very efficient oh But, you know, fog, and I think they render, like, what, four iterations or so? Two in each side. That's where we need to place the cube. So we know that. Yeah, sorry, but the, it besides the original, you're correct, besides the original, it renders two in each direction. Meaning, in total, you're rendering... Uh, what is it, 125 of them? It's not that much. Because this is, as I said, well, as you know it already, it's very simple geometry. And because they use very little angle, very few angles. Um, okay, so we can, we're done in here. Need to get over, where was the button there? Let's go take a dip, guys. I'm never a fan of recursion that calls to expand so rapidly. Not sure what it would make it work better. Um, limits to recursion. That's always the solution. I think another thing they did was uh, um, keeping the same five instances and teleporting the player. I think that was another solution they used. There's, they did a talk on it. Bonk. Bonk. So you now I need to go over there. Check and go like this. Bonk. Oh, it's a red cube, right? Where do we put it? There it is. But there's also a tree here. Oh, is it where I originally got it? But no, wait, it must be yellow, right? Where is it, the ball, actually?
I see it is yellow. Again. I have a feeling these are the shortcuts that we found. Let's grab you again. Wait, it's past it? No, 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 not past it. Okay, so let's go find the yellow tree, I think. This right, yeah, I, uh, I, I understand that. Mm. I don't blame you for that at all. So that color was not yellow. What was it exactly? No, it was orange. That's the one. Ah, there it is. Sneaky. Bonk. Crap. Whoopsie. All right, let's go on a journey. Almost there. Dunk. Almost there, almost there. Oop. Boom. And we're done. Awesome. I, um, I think it might be raining a bit. No matter. We will solve that very soon. Plop. I don't know what the story here is, by the way. I'm gonna guess it's something about um, how the, you're making realities collapse in one of itself.
Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me either. Look, that's the other one we completed. So I'm guessing we have to complete all the color areas and then we're going to get the final ending. I know a friend of mine already completed this game um, a little while ago. I'll uh, probably ask him how, what he thought of it. Oh, we're back here. Nice. This time with the blue cube. But I wonder one thing before I carry on. What is up there? Nothing? What a cop-out. Bonk. Bonk. Remember the yellow cube we dragged all the way over here? Yeah, it's gone now. see anything special from here hmm. oh might that be the same It's water. Achievement unlocked. Plants a seed. What? Oh! <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Water bender. That's neat, though. Oh yeah, I can recommend. I mean, I can also understand if you uh, if you don't want to see spoilers for that. So, is there another seed I have to water? Oh yeah, we have another cube. Wait, where did that come from? Oh, I see. The original one disappeared. Oh look, it's recursive. So the. Uh, the water, it, it keeps flowing forever. Oh, oh, it's a water wheel. Oh, that is really neat. Discover hydro energy. Oh, I like that. Could have made those gears not clip into each other, though.
Splish, splash, splash. That's a seed. That's great. Means we also got a new one here because it uh, it'll still function. Hey, what is? Uh, there we go. Splish, splish, splash. So let's see, what do you do? Ah, I think I need to power both. And it comes out of the back end, so we can do two redirections. Don't I need three, though? Hmm, how far is my program, by the way? We're over halfway after one and a half hours, which sounds about right. Let's see, so I can do one immediately. Is there another seed somewhere, maybe? It seems like a thing. Hmm. So let's see. Ah, I see another seed. Hey there, IFT. Oh yes, it is very nice of me, isn't it? So how could I have known it was 3 a.m. at your place? Uh, we need to make it fall off somewhere else to get it back up here. Now the real thinking begins. So we have quite a few cubes. We have one more, in fact. So let's go grab that one. So I'm going to need to find a place where the two of them actually overlap. Where two bits overlap. Because what I need to find is a place where I can drop it. And then catch it where it's... What is over here, though? Like there. That might work. I could, I don't longer need to water all of that. I could just redirect it from you. Yeah, I think that's actually better. Since you should now come down. Ah, now I can just do it naively, right? I don't even need to make it loop. Yeah. Didn't even need like two of these cubes. Anyway, it's uh, good to see you, IFT. I've been playing for about uh, an hour. We did about two areas. That is, of course, counting the first, which we blazed through in about 10 minutes. Because, of course, I already did that before. I think so, too. I don't know how many areas. I think there are six areas in the game. And I did two now. And this will be the third one, actually.
I saw, why are you awake at 3 a.m.? Did you see my notification? I thought, I gotta see this. I'm not sure how long I'll be around. My final time comes in around just around for four hours. Yeah, so we've been going for about half of that, for about two hours now. Counting the first session, that is, which was about 40 minutes. Yeah, I guess you can subtract about 15 of that, since of course I still had the controller issues. Where are we? Ah, yeah, yeah we're still we're still here in the central area. I know there's a lot of interesting things about this. The thing is, like, I know there's shortcuts. And if I, I found what I think is like... Oh. That's frozen? Ah, so what happens if I do this? It just flows alongside it, okay. Where would I even want it to flow? Oh, I don't know. I messed up a bit. Doom, 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 doom. Got woken up because noisy bats outside my window and saw your ping in Discord from there. Uh -huh, I see. I'm sorry, what? I can walk on water. Neat. Of course everything is horrible in Australia. Do you even need to ask? It's freaking Australia. Their only redeeming factor is that they're... Uh... Hey, look. It's reflecting. Only redeeming factor is that they live next to Kiwi land. So we need to water this. So water wheel. Hmm. How do I get... Um. Okay, that's the same tree. That's really screwy. Now that is screwy. Non Euclidean to the max. Yeah, I'm realizing that. I'm going a bit too fast. You can mention I. Uh, some people already said, yeah, this this makes me feel sick, and I don't. I'm sorry. What? Wait. Oh, there's two doors. Oh, I see. Achievement unlocked. Non Euclidean fluid mechanics. Look. Then we go here, we go here, and then we can go to the electricity. Wow! That is something, all right. That's neat. I like it. But look, like this, that kind of made it look like there wasn't a passage there, which is why I got confused. This is great. I love it. I think, like, levels like these aren't that difficult, as long as you can kind of wrap your ha mind around how spaces are connected. Because non-Euclidean geometry is not relevant when you're just thinking about rooms that have vertices that connect them together. So vertices that are connected by edges. I 
Oh no, we. Oh wait, what? Huh? I don't believe it. Geronimo. Yeah, I should believe. Should have believed that. Boop. Oh, we're here. So, how are you finding the puzzles? I think they're not too. Yeah, they they aren't very difficult, but I think you can't. I think you can't really do that um, without making it extremely complicated. Like, if you want to make, I think it's one of those things where both designing and playing puzzles like this is extremely difficult because you don't want to make everything the variation of it's a maze and you find your way, but it's even worse because it's non-Euclidean. Um, so you got it like, for example, some of the puzzles are a bit weird because they rely on things you might not think, but okay. So, uh, okay, I can, because it's like one gravity doesn't work um, when you're not in the relevant lane. But not just that, water is a walkway and that's like, okay, that's another thing you need to think about. And I think it's 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 a fine balance between what a, as a developer you can come up with and what as a what you expect your players to be able to do uh, with, with in a reasonable amount of time and, and and such and such. I see a button there because it's a bit of a of a mix between those two, I think. So yeah, I agree that the puzzles aren't very complicated, but I think it's very interesting. Slightly annoying, but I can understand why they wouldn't like you do that. So here we have two. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> what? Huh. Yeah, I agree there, and I think the dev did a great job on signing these, especially making sure you're almost always going the right way despite how com complicated it looks. Yeah, it's it's that as well as... Um, like, you have to make sure a player can always return to the proper area. You never want a player to get stuck. Because at that point you've lost. You've just you've just lost. Um, and I think they did a really good job of making sure that it's fairly easy to keep track of where you are. Um, I want to see where this goes though. So this is another button. Hmm. Where are we? Water. And a button. Wait. What? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, yeah, I see. But there's more. Because there's this area there. And that's where we came from. So this is where we came from just now. So what I could do is I could get the water to flow here. And then I could flow it that. That's very complicated, but I think these edges might help. Not entirely sure. And then it'll flow back in here. Hmm. I think I should just carry on for now. Um, 
while I would really like to explore these things, I also, well, I don't have to go fast, but trying to time this, sort of. And I have a feeling I can get really lost in this game. I like that. Just wish they would actually mesh properly. That's a bit lazy in my opinion. I don't... Sure, I wouldn't expect them to have properly physic, uh, physically simulated ones, but come on. You can have them at least interlock. But I think it's great. You could have done... Like, some devs could have done really stupid stuff like, Oh, there's physics simulation. So, you... Um, that's new. So, you'd have like... Um, What are you? So you would have like, uh, oh, you do fall damage. What is this? Hmm, we just fall, but I need purple. Hmm. Oh, may maybe it's a coloring beam. But I think the, the depths were also kind of nice. I think they... Color change. Yep. But it still has orange in there. I see. There should be a second one on the tree, shouldn't there? Yeah, there is. Yeah, I think it's. I think the devs did a good idea because you can do uh, something that that's like the witness. You have this this fairly enclosed open world with a bunch of puzzles, but I think you would extremely quickly lose an overview there. So what they did is they they made a fairly small. Every single puzzle takes place in a very enclosed area. You know, you never need to go far to to complete your puzzle. I know I don't need to drag this cube through hell and back to get to the end. But I know there's Easter eggs like that. And I know that there's a few shortcuts you can take and you can complete the game without ever touching one of those god cubes. And I think that's great. It, re it really rewards, you know, exploration and say to the player, hey, if you really understand this properly, we have added in some things where you will be rewarded with nice little Easter eggs and such for your efforts. I see a button there. I think something like that. Maybe, I don't know if we're going to ever press that, but maybe. Makes you curious. Okay, we do. It's just more non-Euclidean stuff. We. Hey. Where are we? This is new. It's repeating forever. I think also being able to very quickly grasp what kind of situation you're in really helps people. So... Feels like we've been here before. Feels like I've been here before. So... Here's what you can see. We have a blue and a red receptacle. Here's the red one. The blue one's... Somewhere. On the other side there. Ah, there's two red ones. And there's this. Because we can't get there. That's that's a tree. It's so like, for example, here, it really wouldn't surprise me if in one of these hallways... Hey, look. That's different. What is here? So it's very nice knowing that you can go to a lot of different places and you'll never lose progress. Like here, we just landed here, I know where I am. We are back in the level maybe one or one or two down. Yeah, so we're just slightly in a different place. And that one will lead to the one on the opposite side, I think. Yeah, and it will. 
This makes you think of an artist. Can't think of the name right now. Uh, it may, yeah, there we were at the back. So let's, uh, so let's go back and grab our tree. Escher, yeah, MC Escher. He made a lot of non-Euclidean drawings. That was, you know, literally his entire shtick. Bonk. There we go. Two red ones, though. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of that aspect. I wish I could drag a few more along. But it's not too bad. I know where the other red one is, though. And that shouldn't be too hard to get to. Anyway, I really like this game. It's really nice. Ah, probably random for the game. You have a background in manifold theory, differential geometry. Ah, <laughs> no, I'm a biochemist. I don't have a background in any relevant field here. Oh, we need a yellow cube. Well, where did we come from? Bonk. There we go. And there we are. Interesting. So... Yeah, that's the same room, infinitely long. What? Oh, that makes sense. That one and that one is the same. So now I can drop a yellow one in here. Neat. Now I need to make sure to grab the right one. Oh, it tells you which one is yellow. Great, that's actually very nice. There we go. Puzzle solved. Achievement unlocked. Thinking with portals. Oh. Just in case. Bunch of doors. No switches. Just to make sure. Pretty sure we're going to have to close some of these later, though. Does she still appreciate the concept behind? Of course. I mean, I I, um, I like mathematics. I'm a pretty big fan of them. Hey, look. It's the same thing we kind of had before. There we go. Look, we did it with one fewer than we really needed to. That's good. How far is my solution? 
66%. Out of something that I could have been done with hours ago. Right. I, well, I won't say I call myself a polymath. I do like to dabble in a lot of areas and learn about things, despite knowing that uh, I'll never be truly great at them. Like, you know, for all that is worth, I've done a... Huh. I've done a lot of stuff with higher dimensional math. And like, say, um, Advent of Code. And I know I watch a lot. I really like watching Number File, for example. What did that do? I really like watching Number File because, you know, it's subjects that I'm interested in, despite not. What the fun? Is this Tetris? I need slightly better. Very how brown, meaning I'll have just butter. Good grief. Oh, this is great. I lost 30 minutes of my time because of the damn giant blocks. Yeah, I can understand. So we need to get a signal from here. So we need to get something falling on here. Wee Bonk. Oh, that's great. So we have that powered, right? Ah, I see, I see. We need to get that one falling down there again. See? Wait. Are you not powered? Ah, uh, yes you are. Ah, uh, no, 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 you're powered, you're powered. So I need to get... I need to fall onto you there now. I get the feeling Jake wouldn't like the game. Nah, just tell him, uh, actually, that won't really work anymore. He used to be able to goad him very easily, saying, Oh, Nitro did it in Time X, and then he would immediately crumble but uh not anymore not so easily oh freaking hell who needs non-euclidean geometry right wait we're here again no 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 yeah now you're both green I think... Oh, game. Thank you. Bonk. Just drop you there. There we go. Yep, I hear more bunking. Should be a receptacle somewhere here, right? Um, hmm, where is it again? Ah, here it is. So now... So we can actually get power through you. Oh God, I'm good. Solved it already.
Look, I'm just a genius. What? Oh. Sneaky. Feed that line to Jake. <laughs> uh, I think he might. I think he might. Jake is a man that's not very hard to manipulate at moments. I see a tree there, though. Oh! Whoopsie. No, this feels like where we have to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, this will, this will lead to the answer as well. That's because you just never watched my ridiculously competent puzzling before. <clears throat> yeah, that's a joke. Let's see. Hmm. Just one of you? Just one of you? It's good to know. Really, just one of you? Hmm. Because how am I supposed to get you there? Ah! No, gravity doesn't affect it when I'm in the wrong plane. Bonk. I uh, think I can. You can already hear when you're back in the uh, the Tetris room because it just you can hear the bonking already of the blocks. Try getting yourself squished. Ooh, I am not sure I want to try that. Purely because I could like to carry on. Because we're almost done with this area. And this should be a shortcut, right? Yep. See? These are shortcuts to the other levels. I'll try it once I'm done with this area, because I think we have maybe one or two left. Not entirely sure. Wait, is this the same one? Did I just make a mistake? No, this is new. This is Tetristopia, though. Oh, yeah, so this means we can now return here whenever we want. Uh, there's, they're basically checkpoints of some, some sorts. See, this is where we need to place a god cube. A yellow god cube, in fact. Bonk. And this is where we can find it. Where is that cube we saw? Isn't it here? Yeah. But where do I put it? Hmm. 
That's where our laser beam needs to go. Ah, crud. See? We need to get a red cube. Don't we already have red cubes? There we go. I think we activated our god cube. Just need to get back to yellow. Was where again? <sighs> Yellow, of course, so hmm. there it is. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, there it is. Just went the completely wrong way. Alright, let's go crush ourselves once we've played this one. So, see, four hours. I'm not sure I'm gonna finish it today, though. Nice burps. Oh. Bonk. Let's go see if we can get ourselves crushed. Because I do actually want to see that. Are they gone? No, they're not gone, thank god. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, come on! What a cop-out! Oh, <laughs> Amazing. God, you're strong. What a shame we didn't, I guess, get squished. We need to flip around our direction, though. Whoop. Hmm. 
We need to go there, right? Yeah, because we're orange, not yellow. Now we're yellow. I wonder if we could have done this area faster, because it feels to me like we could have. We are actually in the correct orientation, right? Or am I reversed? Yeah, I think I need to... F oh, no, there we go. We're, we're correct. Just being slightly sloppy. There we go. Need to take the god cube. I love that sound, it's great. The thing is, I wonder how you can even complete the game without using the god cubes. I assume they have a slightly different wind condition then. That's no cube, it's a hyper cube. Get it? See, it's a hypercube. Goddamn four-dimensional cubes. Or maybe it's just a th uh, four-dimensional representation of a 5D cube. You wouldn't know. Frankly, none of us would know, since we're, we humans are not made to think in higher dimensions. Uh... Long door nitro. Right door. What do we have? One tree. Ah, we're here again. Neat. That's a lot of lamps. A lot of recursive lamps. Bonk. There we go, that's our laser. It's purple? Yeah. Slightly stupid. See, they need to collide with each other. Where's the other cube? Oh, it's fell over there. Bonk. So see, we have to make this one fall. Ah, crud, I messed up again. <laughs> oh boy. Did I just mess up permanently? No way. No, 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 no. I should be able to catch it in the right? <sighs> fine, fine, fine. We need the one that's... Well, they're both blue, so... I got the right one. So, see, now... 
I need to make sure these two actually fall at the exact same spot at the exact same time. That's a bit of a strange one because how do I do that? Since so what I could do is I could like Okay, that's good to know. So it, it immediately activates gravity and won't stop mid-fall. Which I guess makes sense. Maybe, what if I do like two blues? Now I need it. Oh, I think I have an idea. Ah, that's not the idea. Grab you again. Ah, the one that's red right now. So what if I do you here? There we go, now I can make you red and you'll be fine. Oh, fudge. Ah, screwed up. I need to grab it again from here. Because otherwise, um, you really can't let... There we go. You can't let blue grid gravity, otherwise it'll fall down. Uh, where do you go to? Uh, oh yeah, there. There we go. Place the god cube. This is where we level select, basically. Some more puzzles. Uh, how do I get there proper? Uh, let's see, it's over there, right? There we go. So red is that way, so we need to find a way to actually get red stuck like that. I think I know a way to do that. Is that the way? No, it needs to be green. Hmm. Think. Bonk. Oh, almost crushed me there. Hmm. No, I'm not sure this will work. I think it might. Ah, okay, I see. Oh, lag. Hmm. So no third cube? Nope, just have two. Hmm. Because blue is here blue might keep it up Book. 
Yeah, see? See, it needs to slightly be down. So we we're doing, we're having slightly the right idea. Just messed it up a bit. I think I already know how. Bonk. Oh yeah, we need to fall down like so. Don't crush my head. So I just need to place this in such a way that this will fit. That this basically squished to the ceiling. Can I even do that? Yeah, I can do that. I just need to slightly figure it out. Like. This does not work. I think this might already work. Come on. I think I think they programmed it on purpose to not work that way. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. It's annoying that I was so close the first time around and it took me so long. We removed the bridge? Was that a good idea? Hmm. I think we're gonna need to find another red. Hmm, wait a minute. Let's check something out here. So you're purple, right? You need to get power from a laser, of course. But we have two purple cubes already. Hey, there's our purple cubes. We just need to find them again where I had them. All right, good. So we know that. That's good to know. So purple cubes are always going to be, you know, purple. Well, speak of the devil. Of course they're going to be fairly easy to find. Could have realized that slightly earlier, though. Hmm. I think we may have wasted a bit of time on some extra stuff there. Where do we go? I'm not sure. Ah. There we go. Another area done.
Come on, Archer. Surely you can finish this before the sun rises. <laughs> hey, the sun's already down here, so I have enough time. It's, uh... Fuck me, it's quarter to six and it's pitch black outside. Goddamn winter. But I mean, it is two days after the longest day, of, the shortest day of the year. Nice birds. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, we're walking on the ceiling, I know. Hey, red water. I have a feeling we have to do something with that. Like, we want to recede. Yeah, yeah, sorry for the disorientation as usual. You guys will live. How many did you give me? One. Remember when I was talking about overlapping services? This is basically what I'm looking for. Except not exactly like this, but kind of exactly like this. And that goes there. Because now it should flow, yeah, it should flow to nowhere. Because what I would like to do is somehow get it to flow Oh, nah, come on. Here, and then I can let it flow here. So we need to get a pop, which I think is down there. Perfect. Now I just need to fall down a bit again. Whee! This is great. There we go. Remember, kids, water that's not flowing, you can walk on. This is where we place our nice little cube. First, we'll have to find where to find it. where we came from it's more water it's more water hey I think we found our cubes Bonk. <laughs> oh that's great yeah see that's over there uh, welcome to non Euclidean geometry kids Trust me, it's only going to get more confusing. Because now we can walk on that. Sort of. So I need to... get this cube up there. Where gravity is made up and directions don't matter, indeed. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Yeah, look, it kind of glitches out. Because as soon as I move direction, the gravity starts flowing again. Um, on a theory, I can do something like this. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's not gonna work. Nah, I can cheese this a bit, I think. Ah, fudge. Alright, fine. We'll do it the intended way. Boring. Is this the intended way, though? Because I need to get it over there. Let me think a bit here. Oh, I might need to use... Ah, I think I need to use the green one. Because I can fall down and just repeat it. Wait, there's another one here. Oh, hey, where do you end up? Ah, there we go. How do I do? Oh. Nitro, you are not a very intelligent man, are you? <laughs> it was right there in front of you all this time. See, I knew how to do this. It was just uh, um, <laughs> sandbagging a little bit. Just a little bit. What did I need for you? Now we're going to need a god cube first. This is where we place it. Tree is where we get it. it. Took a lot longer to realize there was a second door there. So, oh, we're gonna need to get lasers. Look, it's a laser. Cube. Click. Let's go see the other. Below me, isn't it? Frick, I should have pressed that button. First of all, I'm also in the wrong pillar.
Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Just do it. I needed to press that button. I realize that now. Oh, thank you. So first we need to go back... There. Crap. Yes, 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 I know what to do. I can't get back in here, can I? No, not like this. Just don't fall down, we'll be fine. There we go. Literally all I needed to do was press. Wait, where's the button? Over here? Wait, where's that button? How else can I get here? Because I need to get here without switching directions. There's stairs here. Ah, I'm stupid. Okay, now we just need to get up here again. And now we just need to get the cube again. God, this is great. I really like it. Could have made the fail condition a little bit faster, though, but I will. One thing that annoys me about games, it's very slow restarting. This game sure as well has a lot of that. I wish I could fall indefinitely without worrying about it. Oh, so do I. It's great. Let's see how far my solution is. It's 91% done. Nice. Wait, did Nyx just solve it? That would be annoying. He didn't. Oh, he made something else. Womp womp. Talking about Advent of Code, by the way, which uh, my solution is almost done. Because I wrote a very inefficient one. Achievement unlocked. Collect the rainbow. So now, final area? Sure feels like it. She even unlocked the final countdown. Open the final door. It's the final countdown. So I assume you can actually get here without um, interesting. I assume you can get here without ever using those god cubes. Well, you must be able to. Um, 
But I think you're able to go there and then it'll automatically complete it if you're like there. What is over here? Okay, just more of that. Need to get a cube there. Ah, I see. So I need to figure out that achievement too. Yeah, I, I I know that. So from what I've read, I haven't looked looked up anything. I just know that there are shortcuts you can take. Okay, it's good. It's not finicky. Too finicky. Oh, I think I can let it flow over the trees. Yeah, I'm just pretty sure that there are. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, you. Hmm, so that doesn't work. You do flow sort of over the tree. We have two cubes left though. Well, one of them we're going to have to place. Ah, yeah, I know how to do it. Hey, hey, neat. I like these large hallways. One thing I can assume is very nice as a developer here, you never have to care about things making sense. You can just do whatever the hell you want. Geometry doesn't have to make sense. You can make rooms as large or as small as you want. Puzzles, yeah. No need to worry about actually connecting rooms together. Cool. Bonk. So what do we need to do here? Show me that first. I need to flow water here, which means it needs to fall off that edge. This just falls infinitely. And here it'll fall into that above. Well, let's see. Where did we need it to fall from again? The back side of that. Where do you end up? Ha, the wall. Is even sort of remotely where I needed to get it. Yeah, just a little bit to the side. Although I think this is, of course, not the way you're supposed to do it. Since, yeah, see, it's slightly wrong, so there must be a different way to do that. First of all, just move this, because we perfectly moved that word shouldn't be Ugh. 
Nice. But see, it flows the wrong way. Can't be having that. So what if I fall down here? It just falls forever, right? No, it doesn't. That's our solution. Ugh. Come on. There you go. Interesting how you went for the exact same solution I first tried. I think that's the, uh, the one a lot of people will be going for. How did we miss it? Uh, if I stand here, I can see it. Wait. What? Uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't do that? No, 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 it should actually. Mm. That's a weird looking GDA mod. Hey, look, I lied. I got this game to work, so I refuse to play. Uh, mm. Now it works. We still need one more cube. No, we actually need more cubes. Hmm. We need to go the other way. What if I make it fall down there? So now it's already flowing the right way. But it just flows forever. Hmm. Is there a seed maybe somewhere? Ah, there's a seed hidden here, isn't there? There has to be. I don't see how else you could do this. Okay, so I'm gonna assume there's no seed here. Wait, what's here? Bonk. That's maybe a hint. Is that the hint? Ah, sneaky. That's neat. I like that. I don't like how it starts. F That's neat. I like that. One little pipe. Like you're playing Mario. Look, they even have like the, the connection there. That's neat. So these are going to be like a whole bunch of themed puzzles, right? Oh, there we go. Bonk. Oh, that's nice. Look. This room killed my frames. I'm running at 100 FPS. If I look this way, though, let's see. 70 FPS. But I got like 125 here, so it's, it's a difference, all right. So seeing as how we're gonna turn to yellow. Let's turn to yellow. Bonk.
So keep in mind that it repeats infinitely in that direction. Ah, look! That's where we need to get it red, and that's where we need to get the yellow. Wait, what? Um, I'm a bit confused. Let me just ignore that one. We can always get it better, get it back. Bonk, there we go. Ah, okay, I see, I see, I see. Yes, yes. I see. So we have to get the yellow there. Yeah, see? It's not that difficult. I was just going the wrong way. Bonk. So we go here. And then we just fall a bit. Oh. Nitro has paid away. Yeah. That's why I uh, bought a GPU that's way too expensive. And that is going to be made obsolete within... Oh, it was made obsolete within three months after release. So, wonderful that. And I might even be getting a new one soon. Well, soon it's going to be like next year. <coughs> Excuse me. No, it's a 2070, not a 2070 Super. That's what burns so much. Oh! <coughs> it's Tetris again. Interesting. I've got a 2070 and it was superseded by the 2070 Super way after. Yeah, yeah, I wasted my money. Hmm. So, we have a Tetris block here. Sure. I can get that, but where's my... my red block? Hmm, that's different. What? Oh, this is where we came from. Okay, that's really good because I know we're back at zero, as it were. Because I remember you. Oh! Looks like my solution is done. Don't think that's the right answer, though. Oh, wait, no, that's... Uh, oh, one second, let me stop this for you. Sorry. No, wait, I mistyped something. Give me a second. Let's wait 40 seconds, because I mistyped. Great. Uh, I want to go there. My mind gets full of... <laughs> Sorry there, Sea Fusion. To me, it feels like we're floating a lot. Oh, hey, that's it. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, we don't have bones, by the way. Anti-chamber is bad enough. This is a lot worse. Sorry about this. This should really... This can be done really a lot more efficiently. I think we're not even going to make it. Nope. To wait one more cycle, even. So was the red over there? Or was it the other way around? Does it matter? No. Guess we're going to find out. Imagine if you were... Oh, I am... Oof. 
I uh, I do I do feel queasy sometimes. Because I know what you're talking about. There's the red one. And plonk. But now we need to play Tetris. Of you, yeah. One second, let me. I can try my input again, I think. Hey, there we go. I got my second gold star for today. It only took me two and a half fucking hours for my solution. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> I may have written a naive solution that took two and a half hours to run. <laughs> it's been running in the background for this entire stream. I started it 20 minutes before. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, I, I, I knew... I will implement a faster way, though. Um... Because uh, I used a very stupid way with a vector, where instead you should have used a uh, a linked list, and I refused. Oh, hey, that's what we need. Oh, no, sorry, I didn't refuse. I wanted to come up with a solution of my own. And, um... Um... I knew that I... That I'd, uh, I discarded the linked list... It's water. I discarded the linked list idea relatively early because I used a deck and that failed to work. Hey, that's a seed, so I need to get some blue. And I've, that, that failed to work because a deck is not a linked list. It's a doubly linked queue, which has some fun side effects. Basically, um, it's, I was complete overkill, and I should have used the linked list, and it would have been way, way faster. But I'm stupid. Achievement unlocked. Tree, tree evolution. Giro a double gravity tree. Oh. Nice. So why did you stop? Oh, it fell down. Oh, it turned all of them into double gravity cubes. That's nice. Linked lists are interesting. I really don't like them. This this day was impossible without linked lists, and that's not just me saying like. Uh, so like the, the it was one of those days where it's like day one, um, day one super easy. Day two, um, uh, day one, sorry, part one super easy. Part two do the same thing a million times. I read the question. It seems like a link. It, it is a single linked list, to be uh, precise, by the way. I was relatively close at one point by implementing a map. That's what, what I will do as well, is implement a map where the second element is the value of the one that comes next. So it's a very naive linked list. I saw people, some people implement a double linked list, but it's not needed since you never need to traverse back. Where am I going? Ah, there it is. Since you never need to traverse backwards, only forwards. Um, there... Um, I was close, because what I did at some point was read uh, was map the values and their indexes in the map, so you could very f quickly find it. But that turned out to be super inefficient for other operations. Holy crap. Is this the puzzle you were talking about, uh, uh, IFT? Is it a big recursive map? Mm, it's alright. Could be worse. So, we need water to flow down here. One more.
At least for part one, I can see how the link list is good because you only need to adjust two connections even though you're moving three cups. Yep. Uh, my folly came... Oh, crap. Well, my folly came when I um, naively... So I, I, I did a part one implementation using a deck that worked. It was super slow. Um... Hey, where do you flow to? Ah, you were a flat plane. Hmm. I know what to do. I think I solved it. I, um, I tried a lot of... I, um, so my solution for part one consisted partially of rotating the list every single turn uh, with rotate. The, the good thing there is that it made the subsequent operations consistent. They were always the same. You always deleted the first three uh, values and you never had to make sure to, oh, that, they over, that they wrapped around. And I was okay, this is slow because rotating is not very fast. We do it every single turn. And it's a huge copy operation. And uh, naively, I thought that the deck would be perfect for that, but the deck is not a doubly linked list. It's a doubly linked queue. Ergo is why it was so slow. Um, and then I thought, okay, I can... Oh, boy. I can remove, though, that rotate operation. But the issue was... Um... The issue there then became, um, oh, that uh, it, I was messing up my operations and I spent like an hour debugging that, maybe more, and I said, fuck it, I'm done. I'm going to let my naive solution run for two hours and I'll uh, come back later. Hmm. I need to think about this. So we have the two-dimensional movements. I think they're made in such a way they can never infinitely loop. Maybe they can actually. But what I want to see, I want to get to that tree and see what we need to actually do. Because I think what we need to do is create a sort of walkway. Yeah, see? We need to create some sort of walkway here. This is the one I was talking about. My brain just refused to function. Oh, I don't... I don't think I'm going to be able to blame you for that. Boss Park is playing it at midnight. Yeah, that won't help. Bonk. I would like to actually get to that tree. So it's fairly easy. Just do this. Falling, we're falling. Then I just need to... There we go. So we have our cubes. That's nice and dandy. Plop. Part 1 seems very easy to do. Problems where I've lost my motivation. Yeah, that sucks to hear. Ah, there we need to get it to. So let me bring one cube with me. See what I can do. 
Actually, let's bring both cubes here, because I think we're going to need to start maneuvering these blocks around. Okay, let's first get you out of the way. Uh, not proper. So why are you not falling further? What? Are you resting on something? Why are you not falling further? How much longer are you doing this? Well, I think I'm very close to the end, but maybe IFT Clear can confirm that. I just want to channel my inner seeker. Yeah, of course. Like as uh, Eric already said the same on his, his Reddit as well. Like it's really not something you have to complete right now. Let's have you fall for a while. This is basically the end. There we go. So, boing. I think we solved it. I just need to make sure it's actually... Fuck. I think I just fucked up. <laughs> I am very close. I just need to make sure to not move the blocks much. So I can, for example, I can fall down there. Yes. So I can do like this that doesn't move you at all yeah I just need to keep very good perspective of where everything is I need to <laughs> ha. got it We get it <laughs> i think we didn't get it i think it's like slightly off slightly to the to this side but there i did it sorry ift clerk seems like your brain was mush well not sorry like just your brain was probably mush still not enough Did I move it too much? No, it's correct. There we go, we did it. with loops here that's natural but light reflection and the angles fuck that we're not here to play the witness Bonk. pretty sure this loops Seems like it doesn't. No, it does, right? No, it doesn't. Huh. It's a lot more embarrassing than my color failure. There we go. It's 
this this central structure infinitely repeating that's a god cube to place Bonk. that's a waterfall to redirect right pretty sure we'll have to redirect it here Got one. Interesting. See, now I think that we actually have some non Euclidean rotation going on here. So I want to try something. Oh, that's not what I wanted to try. So we have our water flow here, right? But I don't have to have it flow there. I can have it flow like... Hey, what is that? It's a seed. We go we found what we needed to do two cubes is all I need technically speaking But uh, Baz, don't worry, I'm gonna, what I'll be doing is, I think it might also be a seat though. I'm gonna drop that. What I'll be doing after this is I'm gonna go for a walk, grab some dinner. Okay, that's not a seat. And then I'll do Kotor afterwards. Well, we'll I'll be dropping it down the center, but... That's what I wanted to try. I wanted to fall down one of those. Oh, here's our cube. Our god cube. So I think I have a rough idea of what we need to do. It's just not very easy to get an overview, especially not with all this black crap everywhere. Because what we need to do is... We need to get this water to flow... Like... Yeah, how do I explain that a bit? We have to get it to flow down one of those arms. Because, so, if I left, leave this here. What you can see is that you want to flow it down one of these two. So if we just kind of fall down until we get to one of those. So see how the water runs here? That's what I need to do. I need to grab that cube again, damn it. Where did I leave it? Well, it doesn't matter, we can just grab it again.
But not that way. I think we should do it the other way around. We can always try and see where it goes. I think it'll just flow back. Yeah, see, it stops flowing because it's the uh, other level. It doesn't like recursing there. Now, see, now it flows because now it loaded it instead of doing a simple render. Hmm, maybe it always did that. Anyway, this is kind of what we need to do. Um, just slightly different. I think the other way around it will probably work. Maybe something like this. Nah, that sort of goes infinite. Yeah, follows onto itself. This is... I'm really not entirely sure about this black goop. So that's where we have our tree. That's so that's where we planted the seed. Ah, wait, look, I think I see. I'm being stupid. Yes. That was stupid. That was really easy. This laser is bouncing around like there's no tomorrow. Missing it. Floop, 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 floop. Okay, now we can get it though. Oh. Bah! Can I stop missing this? Barely? Really? Fine. Do it the boring way. Wait, you're closed? Wait, what's going on here? That's that's what I'm looking for. What's going on here? Something is missing. I think we need to still use the other cube. Did we seriously just have to wait more? No, we have to wait for them to reactivate. Uh Hey there, Avenue. We're almost done with the game. This is a bit stupid, so... The... See that? So now it's free again. It's a fairly simple mistake we were making. 
Sorry for the uh, the potential nausea anyone might experience here. I keep missing it. It's rather frustrating. Finally. Look. It's the rainbow cube. There we go. I think that was the final one. Time? Question mark? We'll see it when the achievement pops up. There's an obvious ending scene. All right. When is the HDQ invite? <laughs> I have a feeling you can cheese this game hard. I mean, there are, we already know that there's hidden passages. Um, here's our God Hypercube, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we already know there's hidden passages. I'm sure if you know those, you can complete the game in maybe half an hour, probably less. It's it's a puzzle game. Uh, Speedrunning them is not very interesting. I think speedrunning this could be pretty interesting, but I think a lot of people just not understand what's going on. Because you'd basically be jumping off an edge. Am I infinitely looping? No, that's another copy of the cube. Speedrun antechamber. Yeah, I think speedrunning antechamber is basically going to be very similar. Like... I know speedrunning antechamber is a bit weird because you have those that cube gun. Ah, it wasn't looping. Psych. Yeah, because you have the cube gun, and I know you can cheese it. You can cheese the game super hard, because you can like. Uh, there's a lot of like single cube skips you can do, basically. Wow. Really cool. There's like a lot of single um, single cube shot skips you can do where you can cheese it hard. We're not done yet. Huh. Okay, but this feels ethereal. Can't switch anymore. Can't switch orientation, so I think we just have to run through the end here. This is Beat Saber sequel Fold the Many Folds. Exactly, Fold Manifolds. Look, you can see something at the edges there. It feels weird, she's just falling through a void. Oh, that's nice. Did we finally reach the end of the manifold? I'm annoyed I can't look up and down, but I think they, uh, I think they may have some visual effects that will be ruined otherwise. Um. Man, I love living in a kaleidoscope. Yeah, that would be a rip stream quality. That's for sure. 
Holy crap, yeah, it's it's struggling. It is struggling hard. Um and this is like the worst for encoding. This is this is absolutely where he just dies. I'm dropping frames left and right. Okay, I'm dropping very few frames, but still that never happens to me. <laughs> we are going ray marching, boys. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just, um, it's the same reason why snow just murders encoding as well. It's just like that time I took LSD. Of course, a daily occurrence for us Dutch people. What are we going to do, Mando Bro now? I think, I think the guy just really wanted to show off his fractal rendering. He was very proud of it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Mando Bulb, you're right. Oh, it looks like one at least. But that was great, and this stream took me three hours, a little under. I think, I think you can do it in three and a half. They wanted an ending and sort of needed to be banging. Yeah, like the thing is, when your entire game is already a trip, um, you kind of need something interesting for the end. Jesus born, keep it PG-13. I don't need to start flirting here. Oh look, it's a hypercube. Probably a 5D cube. 8D cube? Nah, it looks just like a hypercube. I, uh, hmm. Yeah, sure, Borm. Achievement unlocked, transcended. Now, don't worry about it, Borm. I'm just saying that your, uh, your comments could very easily be misinterpreted. That was great. Um, I can recommend anyone who can stomach this to actually play it. That was great. Picked it up for like 10 bucks, I think, I think as well. One hour before sunrise, time to sleep again. Yeah, if you're actually interested in the rendering tech, the guys who made this made a, a, a talk. I don't know where again, but they have a recorded video on their community pages about uh, how they did the rendering tech for this game. How they did the different passes, how they did how they connected the different areas, how they did recursion, um, stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's a very neat way of doing it. it it's it, some of it is of course it's already has been done a million times. I mean, Portal did it for Christ's sake. It came out like what a million years ago. But this game does the um, extreme case of that very well. Still no radial fog though. Well, there's a lot of things where you have to take shortcuts. Because as soon as you get into proper recursion, you're gonna get millions and millions of try of tries too much. Um, which okay, millions of tries don't mean any billions of tries, I guess. I mean even with okay, I have a 2070 super. Sorry, 2070, my bad. Um and it was brought to about 70 FPS at the worst. 
That is with extremely simple geometry. If you made it recurse more, or I think they may have tiled it up for that area as well, but if you have more complex geometry, it just dies. Because it's very complex math behind the scenes. Or, well, let's say it this way. It's fairly simple math, but a lot of it. And I think it's very complex. No, no, no. The geometry itself, the, the singular instance, is fair, is relatively complex. No curves. It's all flat parts. That's what, the, of course, that's what the game is based about. You can't really have curves in a game like this. But it also simplifies geometry immensely. Because one square is two tries. Just two. And since this whole game is purely squares, you're going to have relatively simple rendering there. Of course, then you add recursion. And you're not just doing rendering a lot, but you're also doing a ton of math. And having to end like stitching that together in a way that it runs properly, it feels smooth, that's difficult. Using voxels requires a ton of tries. Yeah, I mean, of course they have stairs as well, but I'm pretty sure they use a very... Uh, that the models they do in the distance are probably going to be heavily LOD'd, or they have pretty good um, sub-pixel uh, triangle reduction. Because that's... That's actually what murders most, um, what murders most most games before, which is having subpixel tries. So they're triangles that don't will never show up. They'll never be relevant. But um, uh, they're they're still getting calculated. Also, recursion is multiplying the geometry a bunch. Yeah, yeah, of course. But it's gonna be like doing that properly because you have to do a lot of perspective proper because the human mind despite this being very difficult to comprehend will spot if it's wrong if the angle is wrong you'll spot it if of the recursion so like if the the angle between some bits wasn't wasn't properly 45 degrees restore anyway that was great maybe someday i'll play more of it uh i never even put the video settings on the highest by the way could have could have done that even as well. It's what I usually play on. Yeah, I know there's debug. I know there's de there's debug tools, but it looks great and it still runs at like 90 FPS right now. It's great. Do you want to die even more? Oof. Oh, I've seen some of the photo mode effects. They're ridiculous. Here, so... Uh, where is it? Some of them are just... I don't know why they added them. Filter. Monochrome. Negative. Easy. Threshold. Blueprint. Dream. Grass. Memory. Comics. The Shining. Oh yeah, the, uh, that's the one. Oh, I just... Uh. <laughs> Some of this is really stupid. <laughs> if you want to give... So okay, I'm not going to do it, but if you want to give someone epilepsy, just uh, click this button really fast. Oh, that's why that's so freaky, because it's or it's orthographic. Look. Now we see all the recur a, ton uh, a ton of recursions. I think I think you j just go sick. But that is very cool. So here you can see some of the recursion tech. So you see all the repetitions there, there, there. So 
I see some shadow. Are there shadow masks? No, there's those are actual renders. That's neat though. They have some real wacky stuff going on here. Oh yeah, there we go. So there you go, now you can see the proper recursion of the pillars. Same that the clipping is broken as all hell. Is that my fault though? No, I think they have some stuff here where which, uh, which is broken. I think it's because of uh what about the color again? Uh, ambient occlusion. Uh not ambient occlusion, uh what is it called again? You know the the one where you clip things you can't see. Can be able to make some very neat stuff. Shame that some of these effects are a bit. But I guess you can always zoom in. Great. I, I like it. That's fairly neat. Something like this. Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. See. You the clip camera clip made should be changed. Yeah, it should, but it didn't. Um, oh well, I'm gonna eat some dinner. I'm gonna have a rest. I'll be back in about an hour, probably maybe more. Um, with Kotor, see you then. Cheers for popping in, by the way. Uh, Klein, is it supposed to be Klein bottle or Klein bar? Oh, I, I know it runs on mobile. Because you can have, because as I said, the geometry is very simple. Just clip more, less view range. It also runs on your Switch. Anyway, see you guys later.